high connect groups, you're going to notice uh, beads of sweat and uh, perspiration going through my t-shirt. It's that time uh, when summer finally hits New England. When does it hit? It hits in spring. That's the classic New England weather. We're enjoying the good uh, 90 degree temperatures. Thank you for the uh, uh, warm response you gave to our mothers on last Sunday. Fantastic Mother's Day. Enjoyed the time together in the CLC following. We covered Mark chapter 12, verse 31, uh, to love your neighbor as yourself. And one of the most um, concise and simple and maybe most profound statements coming from Jesus. He's quoting from Leviticus 19.18 and uh, in, in so many ways quoting from our everyday life. So I'm going to ask you to get involved with your story, share with one another, share a time in which you knew love, you received love, a genuine love from a neighbor, from someone who was a family member or a true neighbor uh, but you said, you know what, this is what real love feels like. Describe that, share that story, and kind of build a, uh, a catalog of these accounts uh, to give us a pretty good picture of what it looks like um, in real life. I mean, the statement of Jesus is simple and true and straightforward, but when the rubber meets the road, uh, this probably looks like someone gave you money or gave you food or expressed a kind word or put their arm around your shoulder at Often love has a very tangible uh, significance, so we want to capture that, and I want you to capture that. And then, uh, if you would, secondly, share your favorite Bible story that talks about loving your neighbor as yourself. So I shared two, uh, Ruth and Naomi and Jonathan and David. Uh, certainly referenced the parable of the Good Samaritan. So those are our three accounts. Uh, there's plenty more in the scriptures. But I think it would be really worth our time to think through uh, what does God give us in his word to help reveal and expound upon what loving the neighbor looks like. And then if you would, thirdly, if you have the time, uh, just take a moment and pray for your neighbors, uh, the physical ones, the ones who live right next door to you. Uh, share their names, share their uh, life setting if you know it, uh, and, and pray together for the neighbors represented. I know Jesus defines neighbor as much broader, uh, and certainly that includes um, the neighbor who resides next door. So would you take the time and pray for your neighbors, and if there's any needs represented among your own group, pray for one another. Thank you for loving your neighbor as yourself. Thank you for the outpouring of love in our church, which we feel so often. And thank you for loving me, and I pray that you know that I love you. Have a great meeting and a good night. We'll talk to you on Sunday.